on the trail radio here showing you the Baofeng UV5 series. Specifically, what we're going to be talking about is the Baofeng menu. Today we're going to be looking at menu. the STE or option number 35. So with the STE, you just click the menu, menu and you scroll up or down on the menu options until you get to where it says STE. Now what that stands for is Squelch Tail Eliminator. In other terms, if I have the Squelch Tail Eliminator on, then what it does is if I was to transmit, the second I let go of that PTT button, it is going to stop the transmission and this will stop receiving the second I let go. If I set this to off, whenever I hold this, it holds on for about another quarter of a second. That is your squelch tail. So, if you want to have that additional hang time in case you want to repress the push to talk button, then you have that. Or, it can also prevent you from activating your A and I code again. That also means that if I turn it off, once I let go of the PTT button, or once I turn it on, I should say, Menu. in better terms, is the second I let go of this PTT button, it is over with. This will stop receiving immediately. With the Squelch Tail Eliminator, without Menu. the Squelch Tail Confirm. Eliminator. Now, the reason that this is actually useful, like I said prior, is it can prevent you from activating your A and I code again if you want to rapidly press the push to talk button again. But if that's not what you want, and you want to turn it off to where the second you let go of it, you can end your transmission there. It can reduce the amount of transmission time you have. It could save just a minuscule of battery, but it could also, at a certain point, prevent you from pushing out your talk out timer. Or more importantly, if you're using a repeater, like on the UV5G with its repeater option, then the issue becomes that you can accidentally hang on a little bit longer than the repeater is comfortable for, and then some people who own the repeater might get a little upset at you.